Welcome to another episode of House Flipper. In the last episode, uh, we we painted the inside of this place, and we tore down some walls, and we got the bathroom all fixed up. Uh, we still need to put everything in here. We had a wall here and a wall here. They're gone now. Hopefully, hopefully it's gonna work out. I haven't really figured out how to make this entrance look look right I guess maybe that's the right word I don't know um it's kind of a weird little hallway now without any walls but I really didn't like the way this place was so closed in anywho we got tile put up in the bathroom uh we still need to get all the fixtures put in here and I know in this room I talked about putting a washer in here and turning this into like a mud room I honestly don't think there's going to be room for a washer in here. If you still want to be able to walk through, maybe I could turn it into an office or something. Um, might have to get rid of the door. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I want to turn this area back into the kitchen like it was. Or, I don't know, maybe would the kitchen be better back here and do the living room uh, up towards the front? I'm going to have to look into it. I'm going to have to look into it. Also... Let me open this garage. Uh, also, I was told this car was worth like a good chunk of change, so let's. 2,000. Not quite as much as I was told, but. Um, I mean. It'd be nice to have an extra 2,300, almost 2,400 dollars. And I doubt whoever buys this place is really gonna want this car, so. Done. <laughs> it's nothing but in the way anyway, so uh, I kind of wanted to get rid of it. Anywho, let's get started on the inside of this place. I want to get some blinds put up, possibly some curtains. I just, I don't know if the, if the kitchen would be better back here or back up at the front where it was. I'll figure that out, but first... I want to put some blinds in the windows. Uh, let's see if that will pull up what I'm looking for. No, of course not. Of course it didn't. <laughs> you type in blind and you still don't get... Yeah, okay, well, whatever. A white wood, white. Uh, probably white. Probably white's going to... Look the best. Really, it won't span both windows. Hmm. That's interesting. And that... What? Is that for... Is that serious? Is that serious? Is it really not going... What? <laughs> I want to mount one of these because... Uh, I want... I want to... Oops. I want to see if it really if it really doesn't cover the window. Okay, so it was just a lie. It was just a lie. It it does cover the window. <laughs> I thought it was going to be that tiny little size that it was showing. I mean, look at that. Oh, jeez. I'm I'm really glad that's not how it turned out to be. I should have done by many. Because I need a lot of blinds. I'm, I'm actually going to put blinds in pretty much every window. Um, yeah, we'll do a regular blind there. I want to do a closed one in the bathroom. And we'll do opened in the bedroom. Let me grab a closed blind here. Closed. Just want one. Okay. Alright, it's time to start mounting all these blinds. There's one. I wish mounting real blinds was as easy as it is in this game. So that just give me... Okay, it kind of joined at the middle there. I don't think I've actually put blinds in a big double window like this. So I'm, I'm pretty glad that it looks like it kind of joins up in the middle. You can't see... You can't see a seam... 
There we go. Uh, let's go put this one in the bathroom. And then we'll probably start working on the bathroom once all these blinds are up. I think the bathroom is going to be one of the... Probably going to be the first place I start. We'll see how far we get in this episode. It may take more than one episode to get this whole house finished. It looks nice. It's already starting to look more like a house with blinds in the windows. Oh, are there windows? There's windows out in the garage, isn't there? Should we do... I feel like we should put blinds in the garage. I mean, you don't want people peering in your garage. Uh, let's see. Do we want closed? I don't... Um... Yeah, we might want closed. I would want closed blinds in my in my I don't have a garage. But if I had a garage that had windows, I would want closed blinds in there because I really wouldn't want people looking in my garage and eyeballing my stuff to maybe steal it. There we go. That's nice. That is nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this junk either. I don't know if I want to keep it. Like, what is this? Is that a massive screwdriver? <laughs> oh, gosh. That thing's as big as this crowbar almost. Oh, man. Okay. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that in a bit. Let's get started in the bathroom, though. Uh, I don't know if I want to put this kind of radiator in maybe I know I want to get rid of that light switch and that light switch I don't like the way they look and then let's see where do we go where do we go where do we go bathroom fixtures that's what I'm looking for so do you want to do a shower I wonder if this shower would look good. Not there, of course. I hope it fits. We're about to find out. I hope I had it turned the right way. I just thought about that. Okay. Looks like it looks like I did. Oops. Man, this shower's got a ton of parts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> More parts. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad I went with that. That actually goes really nice in there. Um, I hope it doesn't get in the way of the toilet. Let's see. Let's look for a, a washer. Let's do mountable washer. So about that's about as close to the wall as it'll get. Installing a washer in this game is so weird. You take the back off. You take these screws out. I don't know what these big bolts are holding in. Then this thing comes out of nowhere. Then you put the back back on. And I guess it works. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Now let's see if we can fit a toilet. I think the sink's going to work. I'm leaving the sink. And then, yeah, I guess we'll put a radiator. Maybe we'll do... Of course, I've mounted this now. I could have moved it closer. Yeah, we'll do just a regular radiator. Let's see if we can fit a toilet. 
Uh, where did bath? There we go. Bathroom fixtures. Let's just get a regular. Uh, this toilet's nice. I think there's going to be plenty of room. Oh, yeah. If you can't walk through there, you got a serious problem. All right, now I need to figure out what kind of doors I want to put in this place. So, doors. What are all these? Oh, it's really skinny doors. And huge doors. Okay, I just want a regular door. But I want a bathroom door. All right. All right. I did gray wood. Left these white. Changed these little details down here to white. Let's see if I hate this. Okay. That kind of works with the wall color. It doesn't detract from the floor color. It definitely works in the bathroom. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with that. So now I need to get doors put here, here, and out to the garage. So let's get another one. I don't want to use a bathroom door. Let's just get the interior door. And then we did gray wood. I'm going to leave all that glass like it says it is. And I'm going to scroll down here. I think I did... Oh, I think I left the handles alone. And I did gray wood for the frame. Okay. So let's do buy mini. Let me get one there. And there. Oh, that's kind of nice. And then I want to do a different kind of door going out into the garage because I don't know you don't really want glass or I wouldn't anyway want glass going out into the garage so let's see what if we just did what if we just did one of these like regular white inside doors mount this thing right oh I did yeah that looks like something that would go out to a garage and then you come in you've got your nice interior doors with glass and then I'm probably gonna change this door out and probably this one Does this thing have a knocker it does so this is just technically a front door let's see what we could put here because I don't want to use a inside door but it would be nice to have something that'd be cool. Can you do that in pure? Oh my, that is very white. This kind of looks like a back door. What if we did that white? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let me get rid of. Boom. Gone. I'll get rid of that door. And I'm going to buy this one in just white. Is that the outside or the inside? Um, what is the weird handle? Yeah, that, that looks right. Oh, that looks nice. That looks very nice. I like that. That works for me. Now I need to get, I think, a white front door. Because there's a lot of white on the front of this house, so I think a white front door is going to look the best. Let's get rid of that door. Let me find a door that's going to work for the front. I really like this door, so I think I'm going to try it. Make sure. See, that looks like it should be the outside because of the wonky handle. But I just don't think that's the way it goes. 
That's pretty nice. I get it installed right? It sure looks like it. I'm pretty happy with that. I am actually pretty happy with that. So we got the bathroom done. We got doors installed. I want to do something different with the flooring in here. I'd like it to be different than this. Maybe some tile or something would look good in here. So let me figure out what I want to do with flooring and I'll be right back. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, this right here kind of looks like what we put on the wall in the bathroom. So I'm wondering if this would kind of tie in with that. It's not exactly the same. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. It's not exactly the same. It looked a lot alike. I think it's going to be okay, though. I don't really see anything else. I bet it's that. I bet that's it. Let's try it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That was it. That actually looks really good. I'm glad I tried that one. That looks really good. So if you're coming in from the garage, you got muddy feet. You come in here on the tile. Pretty much matches the bathroom. Ties these two rooms together. I think I want to turn this into some sort of an office. If I can find a desk that fits in here. So let me go to furniture, office. Check out that crazy chair. Got gaming chairs. I just want a desk that's hopefully going to fit in here. Nothing too overly fancy. I think something probably like this would work. Uh, I'm even fine with those colors. I will do light gray. Oh yeah, there's gonna be plenty of room for a desk in here. And more, we can put a desk and other stuff. I really should have run that tile up under the door. Let me do that, I'll be right back. Okay, I think that looks much better. Because the door hides it. And then when you open the door, you're like, tile. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I think this is going to make a pretty good office. I do want to put a radiator in here, though. So let's go back here. I just want... A radiator, there we go. Mount this right under the window. Perfect. And then I was even thinking, if this is gonna be an office, it may get hot in here. You may want some air conditioning. AC installation, 700 bucks. Uh, it won't fit there. Will it fit over this door? Oh, it will. Let's put it right there. Oh, I have to buy an air conditioner to mount there? Oh my gosh. So it was 700 bucks for the assembly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mountable air conditioner. Holy cow. So it's a, it's 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 expensive to have air conditioning in your office. <laughs> Jeez. 700 bucks for that little thing. And then this was another 500 and something. Man. That's all right. That's all right. We want a nice office. 
Definitely want a nice office. What? What? Oh, it wants me to connect. I couldn't even see anything lit up. There we go. So now we've got heat and AC. This is going to be a sweet office. The neighbors are going to be looking in the window being like, man, he's got heat and air conditioning in that office. So, I need to figure out what I want to put in here. I need to figure it out. Uh, so, let me go through some stuff. I want to at least get this office finished, and because this episode's already starting to get a little long. So, hopefully we can get this office done and maybe go do the bedroom, and then we can do the living room and kitchen in the next episode. But let me step away, so that'll speed things up a little bit. Let me figure out what I want to go in here, and I will be right back. All right, so I think I've got the office just about finished. Uh, it probably needs a few more decorations, but it's kind of become a game room. <laughs> Maybe a streamer's going to move in here. I mean, they've got heat, they've got AC, they've got their gaming PC down there. You know, all the good stuff. Wish I could do a multiple monitor setup, but this desk just isn't for it, you know. We got a microphone, got all the RGB, that mouse backwards, no, it's not, it's not. I need to put something behind the door, I think, just to fix it up. We got this huge poster on the wall, very, very gamey. I haven't used one of these weird holographic plants before, but I kind of like it. It works in here, it definitely works in here, but I'll probably work on... Finishing this room out with all the little bits of decoration uh, when I'm not recording, but I'll definitely show it to you guys when it's all done. I think that room turned out really good. Really good. I might want to get some pictures or little posters on the wall. And like I said, I just need something in this corner behind the door. It looks a little plain, and I didn't want to do the same plant that I had over there. So, but I think it's looking pretty good. Got a nice big TV up on the wall. I wish this monitor worked. All it does is rotate. Maybe there's maybe there's some way to make it work. I haven't figured it out though. Because that you just turn it on. Thanks for being with us. So yeah. Yeah, pretty cool little room. Right off right off the main part of the house. So I want to work on the bedroom a little bit uh, before I call this episode. But I definitely want to get a radiator in here. I'm wondering if I should put air conditioning in here because apparently none of these houses have central heat and air. So where can I put AC? I wonder, would it fit over the door or should I put it up here on the wall? Maybe I'm going to put AC in every room except for the bathroom. Because who wants a house without AC? So let's go back here. Let's do mountable air conditioner. Oh, I think I need the stupid... What's that under? It's under installations, wide ventilation grid, AC installation. That's what I want. So, oh, it would fit over the door, it looks like. So, I'm going to do it there. You can buy air. What? What the heck was that? <laughs> That was weird. That was weird. Uh, mountable air conditioner. Perfect. Let's get this assembled. This bedroom can have some AC. Maybe, if it'll let me click things. Let me click things. I don't know if it's me or if it's this game, but sometimes 
I click stuff and nothing happens. All right, all the wiring's done. And we've got all these pipes. There we go. Bedroom has air conditioning and heat. Heat and air. Uh, so I'm assuming I'm probably going to put the bed there. It's a very small room. I also find it interesting that none of these houses have closets. Not a single closet in any house. Uh, bedroom. We want a bed. This looks big. Oh, it's not as big as I thought. It's actually kind of cool. Sure. We'll do this weird bed. This weird futuristic looking bed. It'll go with our with our gaming room here. It'd be nice to have a desk near the bed. There's a there's there's an office, man. There's an office. Use the office. <laughs> Why do you want a desk near your bed? Like that, I don't know. That doesn't sound That doesn't sound great. Bedside cabinets. They're probably not going to have anything that goes with this crazy bed I just bought. Uh what about a wardrobe? Uh there's not really light colored chest of drawers. That's not too too bad. You can put that over on this wall. Man, that's a big old empty wall. I I, I think it needs a TV. Personally. Uh let's see. What am I looking for? Electronic equipment. Golly. Uh, I want a wall mountable TV. Where is that? Wall mounted TV. Bye now. All right. So this is the middle of the bed. I don't want to mount it mounted too high. You can never have too many TVs and speakers. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I mean, I I have a TV in my kitchen, so you know, pretty much every room of the house except the bathroom has a TV in 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 my place and I mean, who doesn't go to the bathroom without their phone? So I mean, you got a little kind of a mini TV in your in your hand when you go to the bathroom. So I mean, Pretty much every room in my house is covered with some sort of TV or multi-monitor setup. Uh, I think we need... I think we might need a rug. I think we need a rug. Let's see. I never remember where to find things. Where do I find rugs? There's... Okay, so rugs... Rugs isn't a thing, but rug... Oops, not rig... Rug. <laughs> rug. Uh, let's see. How big is this gray rug? That's, that's actually not too bad because it could go under the bed. Bam. Done. I kind of don't hate that. Kind of don't hate that. You don't really see it when you walk in the room. It's only if you come down here to the foot of the bed. Okay. Okay, so we've pretty much got the layout of this place. It just needs decoration. It needs things on the wall. But this recording's almost an hour long, and I'm going to have to cut it down. Because <laughs> nobody wants to watch an hour. An hour-long video. Um... So I think I'm going to end it here. I'll probably work on this room when I'm not recording, and I'll show you guys in the next episode what this what this room looks like, and I will also work in here just, you know, to get some pictures on the wall. I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing in the bedroom. 
just get some plants and pictures and stuff like that. This is laid out pretty much how it's going to be. And then in the next episode, we're going to work in this little hallway area. We obviously need something to put coats on. And we need a kitchen and a living room. And then we're going to start working on the outside. So, yeah, probably two more episodes. And hopefully we'll be able to sell this place. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, if you want to help support me and the channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. If you want to chat with me outside of YouTube, hit me up on Twitter. There's a link down in the description. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys. And I will see you in the next episode.